Aloha and welcome to our What is an Earthquake video. In this video, we will compare and contrast epicenters and foci of an earthquake and we'll also identify the causes of earthquakes. So to begin, let's talk about what is an earthquake. An earthquake is the vibration of the earth produced by the rapid release of energy in a lithosphere. So we're talking about the outermost crust of the planet and the top part of the mantle and that'll store up energy and then that energy gets released rapidly causing a shaking and that's what an earthquake is. Most of the time, these earthquakes occur along faults, and these faults are a fracture in the earth. So you can actually see here is a pretty good example of what a fault would be. And you can see that fault line runs here. And what would have happened is this side of the plate and this side of these would have moved around, and that's what an earthquake is. Now, when we talk about earthquakes, you'll hear two terms an awful lot, and that's epicenter and focus. The focus is here and that's the actual location of where the slippage occurred. That's where the earthquake happened. That's where we had the plates move. Now directly above the focus on the surface of the planet is where we find the epicenter. And the epicenter is what we're more concerned with because that's where we would look for the strongest amounts of damage. It's the place on the surface closest and since we live on the surface that's what we're concerned about. But remember the focus is where it actually happens the epicenter is that part on the surface right above it. Now, the cause of earthquakes, our current theory is basically the elastic rebound hypothesis. And that means that we've built up energy and suddenly that energy is released and that's what causes the earthquakes. If we look at our picture here, we see in the first illustration, this one right over here, that everything's kind of normal, life is good, nothing big going on. But we'll notice in the second one that there's movement. This. Uh, plate is moving this way, this one's moving that way. We see that movement and we see that bending in the road and we see that it's kind of stretching and it's adding that, like stretching the rubber band. You're putting a lot of energy there and then suddenly we have slippage or the earthquake here and you can see that this plate's shifted this way and this one's shifted that way and that's what causes an earthquake is this build up here of this pressure and then the sudden release. In the next video, we'll show you how we measure earthquakes, but what normally what we'll see is we'll see a little device that's going to come through and it's going to measure the shaking of the earth like so, and that's what we end up with. And the reason I wanted to do this is I wanted to show you what these terms are. We talk about a foreshock, and a four is before. So our foreshock here is going to be this one right here. It happens before we have the big earthquake occur here, and then we have aftershocks, which are going to come afterwards. These aftershocks and foreshocks are going to be smaller than the earthquake, but they can still do a lot of damage. Okay, well that's it for this video. As always, good luck in the lessons and the quizzes, and we'll see you in the next video.